Hey, hey y'all. Mm. Hey, Timothy P. I don't have to. <laughs> I went earlier. We're going to go back to TP. TP, total package. Or 2P or not 2P. That is the question. Uh huh. Top pick. What? Okay, that was lovely. I've never seen anybody chug a box of anything. You haven't lived, girl. I guess I was not. I didn't go to college. Maybe that's where I would have saw it. And I'm from West Virginia, and I still haven't seen anybody chug something out of a box. No, I find it hard to believe. But in that, that <laughs> stuff is <laughs> this stuff's really good. <laughs> Maybe I will wiped it from my memory because it wasn't the most uh, attractive thing I've ever seen. No. But it's not the most unattractive thing either. Let Have me just you seen my nuts? Out there. No. Oh, there they are. Teresa. Oh. There they are, in the bag where they're usually are. Well, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat right. some nuts. Right. Well, just be mindful and don't chew in or towards the microphone. Well, thankfully, these aren't, like, fresh, so they're more gummy. Than I got gotcha. you. So you're just going to roll them around until they dissolve? Yep. So the off switch has been pulled in the season here in North Carolina. We don't really have seasons, not like New Jersey. Not even fall? There's a fall. You know what it is? All the leaves fall <laughs> off at one time. It's so crazy. You don't really get the, the colors that you get up north. Right, right. But it's okay. But it's funny how almost like September 1st, uh huh. it goes from it's summer to it's not. Well, that's just our hopes and desires. <laughs> no, it's almost We're like ready the lighting, for it to the be positioning over. of the sun, the axis of the well, earth. Well, sure. You know, sure. The, the, the pool's greener than it's been all right. year. Right. The blue's a little less. I get you. I you get know. you. But and that's every, fun. And the, the last mo will be soon. The last mo is always every nice. every day. And then it becomes propane weather. Mm, you better, oh, you better get your propane now. The energy bubble bubble's about to hit. Oh, yeah? With Biden not renewing all kinds of re- uh, renewable energies, fossil fuels, contracts. Yeah, yeah. It just hasn't hit yet. It's going to. But it's going to during this propane season, you think? Yes. And it's not just that. I mean, uh, we're, we're a little Ooh. better off because we're propane. Yeah. Oil is going to go through the roof on them. You're going to have people that won't be able to heat them, their homes. I know. Well, then we'll just burn stuff in the street. That's right. I mean, you oh know what? God. It's one thing to burn stuff in the street with no clear objective or a positive reasoning sure, for doing such. Sure. But if it's to keep warm, go for it. I mean, it's survival. You know what I mean? I do. Do you? Well, look, here was a stupid uh, headline that I saw the other day. And I don't know if it's true or not. It was more of a meme. But it totally sounded like it was true. So I'm going to go with... It's probably partially true. <laughs> Don't, didn't you know we can lie through our teeth Listen, now? Propaganda has been legalized. Like yes, well, we're truth tellers, people. You won't find B. Well, you will find BS here, but you true can't BS, handle the truth. Right? No. Anyways, it says California asks residents to stop charging electric cars on strained grid the week after passing a law to ban gas powered cars. That's actually true. Okay. I follow what Newsom does because California and New York define the country when it comes to politics. They're such powerhouses. They have more seats right. than any other states right. by far. You know, and it, and it, you know, it just goes to show that ignore politics in it. Just look at the demographics of, of politics. It really, it, it's never going to be fair. Right. It's almost like each state has to be its own federal government. Mm-hmm. And we get together in case there's some shit about to happen. Right. Well. You know what I mean? It's America. Right. But, you know, the pe- the mindset of Californians don't have the mindset of, you know, North well, Carolinians. Well, different states have different needs, have different they do. demographics. Perceptions and, and, and that's how it's supposed to be. So are you saying we shouldn't have a United States or we should have a United States but be governed state by state more? Well, more independently. There is, um, have you heard of COS, Convention of States? No. A friend of mine, Deborah's a, she's really big on it. And it, what it is, is it's legislators in each state that believe that the federal government should not 
govern them in any way, shape, or form. It should be up to each government. I mean, each governor, each state, because right. it's a state issue. Right. Like abortion. Abortion is already a state issue. It should have been a state issue. It should never have been uh, controlled by the federal government because, by law, it's a state issue. Um, <clears throat> my f- and so there's a, there's a push out there called Convention of States. Last time I looked, I think they had 17 states approved that. And if they get to the majority of states uh-huh. by one, then they can have Convention of States in this country. No more federal government. The the I mean no more power to federal government. Gotcha. It would be very limited for the uh, the practical applications it was meant originally to be. Right, like aid, <clears throat> aid, military funding, right, things like that. Um, you know, economic trade. I mean, think you know you'd have to have some kind of economic department. right, but not right. You know, they would oversee the laws, but they wouldn't necessarily pick them for right. each state. Is that am I on the same? Road you're on, right the same here? road. Okay. So my problem with convention of states is, and a lot of people are pushing it because they fear the federal government becoming what it is. Right. This started way before all this even reared its ugly head. Sure. But my thing is, is convention of states. Okay, so you won't have an evil administration controlling your state. Mm-hmm. But what if your governor and that and the that administration are Right. You can't escape it. Right. You know, so, you know, you take, say what, say with, uh, say under a respected president. I'm not even saying who. Right. Everyone in their own mind has a respected right. president. Right. So you take that respected president <clears throat> and, um, and then you, you, all the things that he did and that you were proud of and he achieved and he helped the country mm-hmm. and he motivated us, he got us through war, whatever his accomplishments were. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden, he can't help you because you have now have an evil governor trying to self-destruct the state and Convention of States is now right. law right. and he can't do anything. Right. It's it's So like anything, major kinks need to be worked out before you could put it into play and it be what it was thought up to be you know the problem is is government has always been structured around the premise that people are perfect <laughs> why would that even be on the table as something that's real perfect it's people? not but the law the law is illogical based on people human make nature. it hard to love people like people do stuff nice for them it does I mean, you're you're a person, and you know good and well. People shouldn't be in charge of anything important. No, but what I meant by that is, it, all right, let's take um, the libertarians. Okay. Where? You want to take them? Oh, I don't care. They're pretty nice people. and can go anywhere. Okay. Um, but their platform is illogical. It's based on basically everybody doing whatever they want to do right but as long as it doesn't bother me right exactly but that's not how human nature works Mm -mm. so as soon as you're confronted with crime oh shoot we should not have got rid of that right right once you realize you can't turn your back or your heart on starving people then maybe you shouldn't have got rid of that or it's i mean and and i think when i think of that mentality you know sure that'd be great but then you think well, as long as your pedophile ways don't bother me, then go have at it. See, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't not work. Not in this world. It does not work in this world because not everybody's willing to play by the same manners and common sense and more decency. So you can't implement, you can't put that square peg in a circle hole. No, it's like a lot of things that have been put into law to force something right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to pinpoint anything, okay? Just the, the fact that the government implemented something to make something right that was obviously wrong. Uh-huh. The problem is, is when you make people do it, it doesn't work. Right. But with the mindset and hearts that was already changing, that's the flow you should have went with and just maybe promoted it. Right. Hyped it. Right. Had singers and dancers about it. <laughs> you know, bring, get MC Hammer on stage. That's anyway. right. Get a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> How much good could we do if we had a sponsor? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> this is radio. I'll have to describe it to you. Went, oh, she went, wink. wink. Oh, my. I said it out <laughs> loud so you could visualize it. <coughs> That's funny. It's all crap, <laughs> No, it's not. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, let's go with you. My like, head's tingling. I think it's all the cold medicine I've been taking to com- uh, fight my allergies. It, it's horrible. When I drive to work, I have to go past both the Meharan River and the Nottoway River, and it's just like a yellow border between the water and the land. And I'm like, well, I can't even make it to work before it feels like my eyes are just watering out of my head and my nose. Put two tampons in your nostrils. That's absorbent enough for a couple hours, but it's miserable. <laughs> you really I don't do wear that? makeup, no, but you. I feel like I need to. Hmm. Don't you get that way with your seasonal allergies? Mine doesn't come out of my nose. Mine just constantly drips, and I wake up in the morning nauseous. Oh, gosh, that's the worst. It is, but it's been, I'm used to it. It's, uh, thank God for, you know, the uh, things that I can do in the morning to make myself natural all Natural remedies, that's absolutely right. Uh, I just don't wear makeup because I know I'm going to rub my eyes in the back of my head by 1045. Yeah, I, I, I used to get red eye itch so bad. Mm. And somewhere along the line, my allergy, like yesterday... My allergies were so bad that I had internal hives popping up all over on my Gross. arm here. And they itch so bad, but you can't itch them because they're internal. Right, right. <laughs> so I go and I run hot water, hot water, red hot water. And it just boils them until they, they like swell and they go down my arm and it feels really good. But what it's also doing, it hardens them up afterwards and it doesn't itch as bad for a while. If you should see the look on her face, I would. We should. That's this should gross. be a video show. <laughs> that is... No, they don't ooze or anything. They're not contagious. They don't pop no. off like gremlins when you feed them after midnight. But anything that's under your skin and visibly changing or moving down your arm. Oh, you should see it when no, I no. turn off the hot water. No, I should not see it. It moves a little no, bit no. like a snake. Like a, you have worms in your arms. Yeah, like That's that. That's lovely. I had that once. I had a ring worm on my uh, ankle as a child. Oh, uh, I remember the itching to this day. Yeah, It was almost severe. like getting crabs in the army. It was that bad. I don't know either of those itches. It was so. an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, all right? Gross. So, oh my gosh. All right, I got to step out for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I see you did a little homework for me on New Jersey. New Jersey man cuts down trees in town square to deter homeless population. Huh? How would that deter it? Oh, he cuts them down as they're walking by, and the tree lands no. on them and kills them. No. Are you recording this? Yeah, why? <laughs> what? Son of a gun. I, I recorded. Because We're on the radio, there's gotta be some. There's got to be some radio equivalent to... to Nostril domus? You picking your nose what? What's when you think nobody's looking. People? I am just saying. Oh. Let me know before you I didn't hit know you were picking record. your nose. I could have been... I wasn't. Oh. But I'm saying I could have been doing well, something okay, equivalent then. that would be picked up on radio. Like, like when people your have nose, wore like their lapel... Swabbing your ear. No. Like when people flossing. have wore their lapel mics to the bathroom and they never got turned off and you hear all of that. That's good radio and TV Is that right why there. you're hitting the record button behind my back? No. You were looking directly at me. But I wasn't looking at your hand. Why? I don't know. It's, it's not my it's fault you're not looking at my hand. It's a wiry hand. I don't know what it went... I don't want to know what it's getting up to, I guess, maybe. That's what I'm saying. That's Anyways, exactly right. No, the story is a whole town in New Jersey decided to cut down all the trees in the town square or, you know, wherever downtown was to deter homeless people from staying there because they were finding shade under the tree. It makes sense in lodging and you can lean against them, but without the trees, you're just standing in a bare field. Right. Hmm. But instead of destroying nature, why don't you help home the homeless? Either that or... do or something about it so they don't... Such an eyesore to your beautiful Jersey town. You could have once a year homeless hunting. Oh my gosh. Put it yeah, in between a... wild turkeys and deer. No, because... You, they run that's... pretty fast. I've seen homeless it's men not chase good before. Idea. All right. Fine. I'm sure you have seen. I've seen homeless people pee. Well, you know, that's one one thing. On themselves and on other people.
people's property. It was a big problem here. That's another thing that they're doing. I think that was another reason. Because oh, the this homeless is why the homeless come to New are... Jersey? Because bags, bags, and bags of no, bags? No, because homeless people were also defecating around the businesses downtown. Uh-huh. So that's another reason they decided to cut down the trees, because it was causing hardship on businesses. Uh, this is actually kind of funny. This gross. It's sad. Mountains of bags are, uh, oh. are an unintended... Hold on, people, just so you know, because Tim's in his own little... Bubble. atmosphere right now he's moving into another topic oh am i it's no, also about new this. jersey all right so uh oh, we're, we're done going. we're done i don't think cut down the trees solve the problem well did they chop down the trees and take the stumps out also i don't they, know i mean because then you have this giant dangerous field people could walk across in the dark and trip it's a liability, I think. I now. don't know. Maybe they should have just maybe they should have just hollowed out the trees and turned them into little tiny houses for the homeless people, and they could absorb into the tree at night, so you didn't know they were there. I still like chopping down the tree when they're walking by and getting them. It's almost like a sport. Well, Timothy, that's not sustainable. That would leave a massive carbon footprint. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> All right, so the other one. Why do some people in New Jersey suddenly have bags and bags of bags? Why is it? Because this is Tim's story, but I'm going to tell you about it. Well, I introduced it. I delegated. That's all he did. He delegated it. Yes, there you he's, go. Uh, he's the manager. What do you expect? Yeah, I'm the manager. Um, because plastic bags have been banned in New Jersey. So now when people get orders sent to their home, like groceries and food and such... They have to be put in this reusable bag. So now they've just replaced plastic trash bags with reusable bags. Right. That they're supposed to use up to like 10 times before they can recycle them. Sounds all disgusting. It just sounds like they've replaced the problem with another problem. Well, that's what they do. Um, you know, um, uh, well, I mean, it's a Democrat It's a Democrat. If they would just go back to paper bags, what was wrong with the original good old paper bags? Well, I mean, paper bag, is it's recyclable. It's recyclable. You can turn it into a book cover. We did that at school all the time. And if somebody did throw out the window of a car, it would just go back into the earth. It's paper. Biodegradable. That's right, people. So, duh. I mean, but that means they're cutting down trees. But you can recycle something into using it as a recyclable bag. Yeah. I, res- I use my grocery bags all sorts of different ways. Trash can liners, mm-hmm. picking up dog poop, mm-hmm. storing the other plastic trash. It's a bag for bags. It's a lunch bag. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. It's lots of different things. So it has more than just one shelf life with us. So we're utilizing it until we can't. I couldn't agree more. The end. So New Jersey, that was a dumb move. You just replaced it with something else that's the same problem, just a different shape. Well, staying on the same topic, I've been. I just started watching Lord of the Rings, Power of the Rings. Um, it's a series on Amazon, I think. Yep, yep. Can't get away from them advertising. I think there's a Game of Thrones, something like that, on HBO. So now it don't matter where I go, that same look is oh. coming after me. Have you, how many episodes are you in? I watched the first one. And? I like it. I always liked The Lord of the Rings because it's, uh, I, most people are like, oh my God, it's three hours. Ah. But to me, it's just you, you sit back and you just lose yourself in the story because it doesn't go real fast. It's a right. slow story. Right. Even when there's war and fighting, it, it, it's, a, it's a slower movie. Right. Well... I was forced to watch them all because they came out on Christmas Day three years in a row. And I was forced to sit through them. But I will say this. By whom? By somebody I'm no longer married to. Got you. So. um, See, with me, that could be many people. But with you, (laughs) I I got it. I've got one. You've got 14. um, Give or take seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, Any hoosies, I will say this. You do get lost in the story. I mean, it really... It, it's so fantasy. Mm-hmm. It really... It's surreal. Right. And you kind of meld into it. 
Right, right. And it's a story, good versus evil, ultimately. And I'll also say this, even though half of the scenes were not real scenes, they were computer animated, you know, as far as the battle scene goes, battle scenes, Mm -hmm. those were some of the most intense I've ever watched in a cinema or on a movie. I mean, and that's talking about Vietnam movies and Civil War movies and whatever. Um, I just remember feeling so heavy after the battle scenes because they were so realistic, I guess. Yeah, none of the special effects in those movies were amazing as, mm-hmm. a, as opposed to them pulling Jar Jar Binks out of somebody's butt and putting him in a Star Wars movie. That character was horrible. I didn't see it, I but I I did hear more about that movie because of that character and how everybody disliked him. And I think at one point, wasn't he considered, uh, what was it, racist? The people that came up with them, they were blamed for saying it was a compilation of a lot of stereotypes. I don't know. You didn't I know? Wouldn't, see... When you don't, when racism doesn't dwell on your shoulder, like a, like with a lot of people, mm-hmm. I'm a behaviorist. I wouldn't even zone in on it. I probably didn't even notice it. Right, right. So, no, I no, it was the answer. It's almost it. like you're looking for, like, hey, that's a good segue to my next story, Timothy. Oh, be. go for it, girl. How timely. Tim- this was Timley. not planned, it's people. Timley. It was, <laughs> it was Timley. I'll give you that. Okay, so apparently Drew Barrymore put out a little TikTok video of her smiling and dancing in the rain. Is she naked? No. Because that's a trend amongst older actresses, so remember it, we well, talked about Well, they it. got more to prove, but I would, I'm sorry, my, my skirt line goes down the older I get, not up. Mine too, girl, so, I'm with you. I hear you. Um, anyways... She just put out this little TikTok video of her dancing in the rain and just enjoying herself and talking about season, the moments in life, and blah, blah, blah. You know, happy, love, peace, her her brand. Um, and a, let me see, what is she? Um, another woman on TikTok implied that she was being racist for doing that. Really, And why? this is her print, this is why, I'm getting there. Um, she said Drew Barrymore is somebody who wants to dismiss and disrespect the boundaries that black creators have set because black men started a frolicking in the rain challenge earlier this year on TikTok and just showing videos of them dancing in the rain and enjoying being outside in the rain. And this woman is calling Barrymore a racist as if she's uh, appropriating, appropriating that. That, that, that black Men dancing in the rain was something only created by. Sorry, Gene Kelly nailed that. That's first. exactly what I thought. I said y'all are ripping off Metro Goldwyn Mayer. Exactly right. So you want in your face? You want to talk? Let's talk. Yeah, well, that's just one of the stupidest things I ever heard in my whole life. Oh, I've heard many things that. That's like somebody that. trolling to try and maybe do something positive or bring awareness to something, but they're totally misled on what they're trying to raise awareness to. Don't forget, people, go, vote. You if you're going to pick a cause, pick a proper cause, not a stupid made-up cause. Uh, That's what I be saying. I hate people like that. Well, you know. Now you know me. I'm passionate. All you hate. can do, Tim, is hope they become homeless one day and walk near a tree in New Jersey. You got that right. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, what else? I got a list of your topics. I haven't looked at no, them since we were... No, uh... don't look at those. Those are old. Here's something you could talk about <laughs> for a minute while I'm catching up because we're just getting through business today, people. We are just booming and zooming today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, they're remaking a movie. They're remaking... They're remaking two classics. Is one Roadhouse? Yes. The other one? I don't know to the other one. Fletch. Why? I don't know. Um, the only thing I can say is they've cast John Hamm as Fletch. John Hamm was Don Draper in Mad Men. Oh my gosh. I've never seen Mad Men. Not, not the show. Right, right. You should. I mean, it's it's pretty darn good. Probably in my top three favorite shows of all time. But that John Hamm, 
who are. He's a good looking man. Oh, okay. You would have a crush on him. I oh. think I know you well enough to think you probably. But he's supposed to be Fletch. So I might have my first man. So crush. you might check him out, especially if you watch him in Mad Men. Um, if you like drinking at nine a.m. in the morning, I don't. What? As you appear to, as you go to work at work, from your own bar cart in your own office, then you would like Mad Men. I have no clue what you were even <laughs> said. It sounded like you were reading random words off a list. So anyway, go what? Eat some more nuts. How about that? I need That'll nuts. bring you back. Back. Come on down. These nuts Anyways, are a bit salty. Um, I've never seen Fletch, so I don't know. It's if- it, it, it's subpar. It's just Chevy Chase ridiculous. Uh, if you find being Chevy, Chevy Chase, right? There, there's and I like some of his movies, but Fletch. Uh, I'm a lot, I could watch it if somebody else wanted to, but that's about I it. I got gotcha. you. And it was never a hit. So no, I, like I think, like, well, apparently there's some good one-liners because Dale uses them a lot. And most people around him can Is that respond. where he gets all his one-liners from other people? No. Darn it. No. Okay. Some, but not he's all. Chevy Chase Incarnate, I'm hanging out with No. Him. But he's 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 got a nice bag full of quotes from others that oh, I, I bet he does. I can't I, that remember I've any not quotes. seen enough movies that he has seen that I can think it's original content, but it's not. But any who's he's. But it could be. But it could be. But That's right. also shared. Or because influenced. Some that, uh, well, it could be yeah, subliminal. Right. Might have seen so, him passing at sixty five miles an hour on the Audubon. Yeah. I do find that remakes of movies are usually just crappy. Usually, unless it's the Police Academy movies. Well, they never were remade. They just had sequels. That's a totally different. Oh, remade. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. Anyways, Roadhouse. That's, <laughs> why would you even want to try to fill those shoes? Why? Jake Gyllenhaal is not. Jake Gyllenhaal is, 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 yeah, is what's Dalton. his name? Colton. Colton Rolton? Dalton. Dalton. Yes, Dalton. That's it. I don't know if that's his first name or his last name. I don't know. I just remember Sam Elliott was in it. Yeah, That's another good looking man. I like Sam Elliott. And boy, he can rock a mustache. Not everybody can rock just a mustache. No. He, but he's yeah. on the short list. Yeah, he's got right? that cowboy. Right. Look, no matter what he's on, uh, wearing or uh, looks It don't matter, but he's it suits cowboy. him. It he does. would look weird without that thing. Probably so, because he does have a big honker, and I think the mustache actually does. Probably. Uh, Most people grow facial hair to right, like cover I'm something a up right or accentuate now. something else to take your eyes off of. Well, that, because so. I don't want people to see how thin I've gotten until I get my weight back, which is probably going to be never. Once he grows up, he's going to be full size. I'm going to be a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving my life on that break. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Ooh. Look, they got the monkey Didn't have pox to lift gummies. A no. Didn't have to lift a finger, but I did anyways. You know, I was thinking about getting some t-shirts made and selling them, you know, through uh, what's happening. Uh, do some. I used to screen print. Oh, did you? Back in the day, back in the 80s. Um, so I would screen print t-shirts, hats, jackets for people. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, people that didn't have a design in mind, I'd create something. Like, I'm not a graphic artist, but I'm a, I'm a good graphic designer. Gotcha. And um, so I was thinking about doing like monkey pox, you know, jumping on the monkey pox bandwagon, do like monkey pox t-shirts, you know, where there's like these, you know, monkey pox power with the knuckles and it's got all the boils on the knuckles, you know. Why? Because it's so weird people would probably buy it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, scratch and sniff mon- oh, monkey no, no, pox no. t-shirts. No, 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 nothing should be scratch and sniff <laughs> anymore in this day and age. And especially after the story you told, nothing. You've even ruined it for me. All those stickers I used to get that smelled like cotton candy. Mm-hmm. And then every now and again they threw in like pickle or ketchup or something stupid like that. Have you tried Gwyneth's candle? No. Mm-hmm. I do not support her in any way. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like now you know how whacked out she is. You go back and watch a movie she's in, you're like, I don't even, I don't even want to watch that go happen. I don't even want to watch her do her thing. I really didn't like her in any movies, but except for she's Pepper Potts. 
Who is that? Uh, well, all right. Um, you know how Chris Evans is going to always be Captain America? Oh, is she in a superhero movie? She, she is Tony Stark's girl. Oh. Wife. Help run the I gotcha. Stark industry. She's part, She's a sub-character but that developed into a main right, character. Right, right. Um, but that's how I know her. It's Pepper Potts. Gotcha. I don't even care what her real name is. It's irrelevant. I could just take her or leave her. I don't think she ever added anything special to a movie. I don't think she took anything away from a movie either. It's just, I never, whatever. And now that she's this lifestyle guru, she's just... Is that what she whack is? a doodle Yeah, she's a lifestyle guru. God, I or, thought she just made poodle I just candles. put that in quotes. No, it's weird stuff. It's weird stuff. Wow. Like, that's... Well, oh. It's so weird and over the top, people parody her. Well, it's like, you know, the blood, you know, eating the blood of the young in Hollywood to make yourself young, stuff like that. Um, not, as, rumors. not as over the top. Well, yes, it is over the top, just as over the top. Wow. We're going to have to look into this and no, make a show uh, out of it. You can if you want to. We got sep- September, uh, we got September of the What? Never mind. I didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> now, he don't even know what he was going to say. I look at this. Oh, pros and cons said, to owning ducks. Yeah, stop looking at that list. That's old stuff. Fine, I got old there stuff on me. But that is on the list. Yes. You're a duck owner. I am. We Congratulations. Have, we have nine. Nine? And they are starting to produce eggs. Okay, so how many did you start off with? Seven. Oh, okay. So that's not but much. No, no, it probably would have been a good amount to stay with, but it's difficult even for people experienced with ducks to know if they're boys or girls. And it, when they're young, it's so you until just, they develop. So we ended up out of, out of the first seven, one lady duck and the rest, oh, uh, gosh. You know, a gangbang troop from Bangkok. Oh, my um, gosh. So we were able to get two more hens, and um, they're becoming of age. So the now it turns out, based on the amount of eggs, we must have had two females out of that seven and not one. Oh, okay. So now we have four out of nine. Okay, that's so we're getting eggs. Good to eat. We're that's getting good odds. an egg every other day, and it's and it'll get it'll quicken when the other two hens get to maturity. Right. Okay. So, what have been some of the challenges other than not knowing well guys or gals? Well, one of the biggest challenges for me was getting uh, getting them into their cage at first, mm-hmm. back into their their pen. Uh huh. Um, you saw me do it. Yeah. That's how that's I learned to do it, and that's how you have to do it. Okay. You know, I, I put up my wings so they know that they're going straight. They're not going to go this way or this way. They tried me when they were teenagers. They, they were like, <laughs> teenagers. No, I'm going right. I don't care. I'm going to see it. Yeah, I'm getting past it. But now they're just like, and then, of course, we call one duck Webby because uh, big web feet, fattest duck, moves slow. Uh-huh. The other ones pick on sometimes. Aww. Um, just like in real life. Well, Webby uh, tried feeling his, uh, probably his oats, maybe its oats, and um, it started to not follow the other ducks when I went to get it in the coop. So, oh. well, boot in the butt, moved it right along. Gotcha. Only did it twice and then stopped it all together. Not so. had to have that conversation again. No. Nope. And then good. I don't slip anymore. The duck dirt uh-huh. is slippery. Really? So if you're not doing like an up down in your in your steps, you're like blah. <laughs> now I didn't go blah. See, but now I that's something you tape. <laughs> you ask somebody to help you, you know, corral the ducks, and then you videotape them walking on the dirt and falling. Oh, I could do a show called not duck dynasty not duck dynasty <laughs> unduck <laughs> the non-duck dynasty right up duck up duck yes but um at least they're paying for the their their the reason that we have them mm-hmm. exists oh by the way if you're um if you're if you want to row in that garden now's the time because, but you'd have to man it. I don't want to build a row for no reason. Though. Right. We'll take it over. It's not a problem. Um, but I'm going to be putting up the greenhouse. Gotcha, gotcha. Using PCV pipes. So before I do that, I need the amount of rows in there for I the gotcha. year. I gotcha. I won't be participating. And I'll tell you why, because I'm not going to be able to commit to it. 
like I want to. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I would like to. I just can't. Learn I understand. To, I can't learn to farm right now. Learn to farm. I'm learning to caretake right now. I got gotcha. you. So. I got gotcha. you. Well, we might have a squash or two for you when Yay. pestilence and famine come and knock. Hey, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Like, bowl of porridge we do have an overabundance of some vegetables so uh when she goes and picks them i said don't, don't let them go to waste right. i said if you know we're not going to use them put them on facebook somebody will come get them absolutely you know absolutely. maybe it could help, help i mean you know well people put free book stands out all they over put the place free stands out now too you know free food right chips, canned goods and stuff like if i forget to bring money and i'm hungry i know where to go right so bigger you know just pour at the moment. So, <laughs> somebody's got some Vienna sausage just for you, Timothy. You want to bite my Vienna sausage? <laughs> do you? Those things are horrible. I was forced to eat those so many times as a kid. Now I just think about the texture of them. I don't even think it was the flavor, but it was just like hot dog pate yeah, in I a tube shape. Either. Oh, and they were dunked in this gel stuff. The gel stuff grossed me out. Yeah, it got washed off. Do you ever eat sardines out of a can? I've never had sardines. Um, out of anything. Every, like, once a decade, I'll crave sardines. Yeah. And now I'll pop the can. I eat them right out of it. It's got, like, they're in uh-huh. olive oil. I can only get through maybe one and a half, and I'm, I don't want no more ever for another 10 years. That's uh, me and chicken fried steak. <laughs> <laughs> About one and a half bites in, my stomach says, oh, hell no. You done. Oh, you hey done, girl. No. <laughs> Step away from the sawmill gravy. You done. So that or funnel cake. I can't. Oh, my body no. rejects such good things. But I used to dog those down in the day. <laughs> but when you hit 35, your body's like, Pfft. all right, you're done. I'm in charge now. And every month, I'm going to make something new change or happen. Cinnabons gross me out. They make Cinnabons? me physically ill. I can eat. Oh, because a it's small so portion. overwhelming. It's rich, yeah, thick, and yeah. Ah, and that's fudge for me. I don't like fudge. Oh, fudge is a bite or two, and that's it. No, anyway, I'll do. It. I'll like, I let it melt in my mouth. One bite of not fudge, in your I'm hands. Good. Well, you know, depends. We're talking fudge now. <laughs> we are, <laughs> and that's all we're talking about. And around the fudge. corner, lemonade I, is made. Er, er, do it. Dale had never heard that. <laughs> but soda juice, lemonade around the corner, fudge is made. Yes. <laughs> and there's a whole second verse to it, but I can't remember it. And it's probably not to be repeated anyways. <coughs> I, I didn't know the uh, Milk, verse. milk, lemonade. Around the corner, fudge is made. Well, I guess, yeah, if you're a girl. Yeah. What you was know? yours? I'm more like a dairy queen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> You go, girl. Mine are fake. Boy, that's a loaded uh, conversation, right? It is. So I've been told I've got the fresh topic list. You have the freshest topic list in all of radio. I'm going to tell you, that's a high honor. You are. I hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I'm going to talk about, and we'll end it on a good note, but this is more of a, ugh. Why do these people? been a good note? Except for, well, you know, even the homeless have been the tree (laughs) star. Remember when? (laughs) Anyways, this is one of the most horrible creations that has ever been birthed out of social media being created. Wow, that's saying a lot. Influencers. Oh, God. They're like lawyers. Do you not? I feel the bile burning. No, they're not like lawyers. Lawyers work for their money. These moochy, peachy people people do not i don't know lawyers have been destroying this country a lot longer than influencers but go on listen i have worked for a lawyer for 27 years uh, it's okay I, I i still like oh my you. gosh it's not a problem. they earn their keep they, they earn their keep they, whatever level you think it doesn't matter they earn their keep it's okay these people do not it's the laws they set for they expect to go into businesses establishments hotels spas restaurants and tell these small business owners, um, I'll do a story about your food if you give it to me for free. Uh-huh. Or if you let me stay in your room for free. Right. And if they don't <clears throat> oblige, these influencers give bad reviews. Oh, isn't that extortion? 
It pretty seems much, like it's extortion. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Or they get super offended. Why why would you make me pay for this room? Because that's two hundred and ninety dollars out of my mouth out of my kids' mouths. Yeah, for you, you to influence people. That's right. And what, what kind of influence? Is it even my demographic? Is it going to help me in any way, shape, or form? Regardless. I know. It's, it's, it's a bunch of crap. You would be more of an influence on people if you did something nice and supported small business. That's mm-hmm. an influencer to me, not a moocher who probably lives in your parents' basement and will uh-huh. for a really long time and not for all of the right reasons. Well, thank you for telling me this because it, if, if an influencer now comes in before me, and lays out such an agenda mm-hmm. instead of me possibly falling for it or being confused as what to do. I know <laughs> I'm going to brown bag that person. I'm going to drive him up to wherever, Lakewood, New Jersey, and I'm going to strap oh him one gosh. of the trees that we chopped down <laughs> that land on the homeless people. That's what Dale calls a blanket party. We call that in the military. Oh, is that what it was it's called? A military term. Oh, okay. So good. You know, you know what he's talking military, about. Because in the military, you're punished as a platoon. And if one guy keeps getting you punished, he has to learn a lesson. He has to a get a blanket party. party. <laughs> that's right. And it's See, not that's like- a t-shirt. Don't make <laughs> me give you a blanket party. Yeah. See, that's a, that's a conversation starter. Or, not monkey pox knuckles. Uh, I still think that would be a big seller. <laughs> For like two weeks until the next disease pops up. Well, it's funny is they were trying to use monkeypox as another, you know, election thing like they did last time with COVID. But everyone was making fun of it. And because it's tied to one one particular demographic. Right. And in that demographic, what they have to be doing, that I think they're like, oh, let's go back to boosters. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I, I do think that... Diseases are now used as a Bi- political uh, rudder. Warfare. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you so, don't know what's walking next on a plane. I know my government does not have my best interests at heart. No, not at all. You can have the most wonderful president in the whole world, and he, that guy still may not know what's going no, on. Because you know why? He's a person, he's human. That's exactly and right. And all humans suck on some level. Tardo. <laughs> So, hey, one last thing before we hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Um, what is one of your most favorite cocktails of all time? Hmm. It can, it can be your go-to. <laughs> That's pro- Did you just have one? No, oh. it's, I, I'm not much of a mixed drink person. Mm-hmm. But uh, in, over, and I've gone through trends or, or phases. I used to, um, I was, when I was 17, it was vodka and orange juice, a screwdriver. That was right. the thing to drink right. in the late 70s. Well, it was easily accessible, mm-hmm. probably. Then when Red Bull came around, Red Bull and vodka, you got drunk in like 27 seconds. <sighs> and, uh, but for a while there in the 80s, my drink was the kamikaze. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. And, but that was at every bar. That was available that was, at every uh, bar. It was a, trending, a trendy drink. I gotcha. Yeah. So how, how, what was the legal drinking age when you were coming up? When I was coming up, uh, it was 18 and just became 21. Gotcha. Um, as I was, I believe, around when I was a uh, senior in high school. Right I'd around when you were about to hit 18? Yeah, I'd have to look, but it was about that time. It didn't matter, though. Didn't matter. Um, I was a senior in high school, and I would be uh, I would be gambling, playing blackjack at resorts, casino. Right, right. Drinking screwdrivers. I get out of the casino, and the sun's up, and I have to go to school. That's kooky. Um, then back then they didn't have uh, the seventies. From fi- fifteen on, I I could walk in any liquor store, buy whatever I wanted to. They didn't have picture licenses, and I was always twenty three years old. Lance Rogers, <laughs> American hero. That's right. <laughs> you don't know me. I'm Lance Rogers, bitch. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I heard all day. <laughs> And you know how I got it is I was working as a bank teller, and that's a whole different story. It goes in a whole, horrible different direction. <laughs> but just let's say when I was a bank teller, this person, uh-huh. and it wasn't one I waited on in the drive through but mm-hmm. that person left that driver's license in one of the canisters. Oh. So I was like, I hit gold. And from that I point on. I can imagine. 
Yeah, I was Lance Rogers. That's American hero, trip. we love you, Lance. See another T-shirt. Um, I'm Lance Rogers, bitch. I have a, <laughs> I have a more important question for you, Lance. <laughs> yes. What was the um, protocol for dispensing lollipops out in those little canisters? Why? As a bank teller, you gave out suckers. Oh, lollipops oh, oh, oh. to customers. What was the protocol for giving them out? Oh, it didn't matter. <gasps> there was no. We really, you know, uh, anyone could get one. Man. They asked for one. They'd be like, oh, you know, no kids in the car. Can I have a lollipop? Yeah, sure. My we, mom always said, you'll get a lollipop if you're good. Mm-hmm. When we go to the bank. Mama always said. Shut up. That's terrible. Whatever you're doing, stop it. It's terrible. Golly. <laughs> Sorry, people. Good thing you did. See, I have a I bet you radio. wish you would have went up and got that snack right now, huh? <laughs> Ooh, <hey. laughs> it's from drinking from a box is what's going on, people. What? Hate, oh, this? It yeah. is a box. I like to drink from boxes. This is banned <laughs> in New York. <gasps> oh, you know what else is banned in New York? Strippers. No. Thank God. People under 21 buying whippets. You know what I don't understand is, you know, uh, and again, now this That's is... That's a true story. I know it's okay. a true story. But <laughs> I, I assume it's everything that happens. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I, I you, What? what? I'm You're all over, all the, over the, the internet, place? people. Just punch in Tim and Duh. whatever keyword is of interest. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. Dot <laughs> com. Now, what were you we talking about? I had a good one. <clears throat> well, we were talking oh, about... Oh. The Democrats, and I'm not picking on the no, Democrats. No, we were The Democrats. We were not talking about no, the Democrats. No, it has to do with the Whippet Law. Oh, I hmm? thought we were going back to talking about Lance No, we're not talking Armstrong. political. But Democrats always seem to make the policies like age for drinking. Gotcha. Always seems to fall under, you know, like a, a Democratic president regime. It's kind of their thing. Okay. Um, so, um, but they always say follow the science. Follow the science. Well, the science is your cerebral vortex is um, is not developed till you're 23 years old. So follow the science. Uh-huh. A uh-huh. person is not fully mature until 20, 23 years old, and that is the part of your brain that reasons and, and it, it Frontal reasons lobe. logic. Right. Frontal lobe. So if you really want to follow the science, um, it should have been 23 all right. along. Now, based on the morons that are getting popped out of the oven nowadays— Maybe 33, 41, Golly maybe gracious. 61, 65. Well, what about... Yes, Social Security, and you can now buy cigarettes. That's what I'm thinking. Vaping. What do you think about that? Well, it's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, I tried to quit smoking by vaping. Uh-huh. And oh my God. And it was when I was uh, uh, the morning guy for WDLZ up the road. Uh-huh. So I, I would get coughing fits. To, like, I couldn't stop coughing. I went back to cigarettes. Vaping, you reach for more. People almost that vape gotcha. constantly because you on can it. do it anywhere, right? So, but me, I'll you know I'm a pack every three days, right? As opposed to Tony, who's everywhere he goes. Well, you know what we call them? Douche flutes. Douche flutes. <laughs> yeah. Flute or float? Douche flutes. Flute. F- <laughs> yes, F L U T E. Jethro Tull. Yeah, I am not. No, no. I promise you, he is not. 